What's going on everybody? Chris here from Marsupial. We're down in Baltimore at Magpie Cage recording our album right now and figured we'd give you guys a little look into the rigs that we're using to track everything. So uh, starting with my guitar, I got a PRS Custom 24, kind of a limited run. This is one of 300. This is this is my baby. It's the only instrument I've played on any studio Marsupial recordings. So that's all you'll be hearing as far as I'm concerned. Shout out to Mike Renzetti here for hooking us up with the Nintendo pins. Mike has been with us for a while now, and he's a real homie. Uh, going on to my pedal board, I'm going straight into a tuner. Everybody knows what that's good for. After that, we got the volume pedal, which I'm really just using to cut my signal off. Sometimes maybe I'll get some swells if we get into like a jam or something, but other than that, I'm not really using it for anything else. Uh, after that, I'm running into the Electro Harmonics Pitchfork, which is a really diverse octave and like harmonizer kind of pedal. Uh, but I really only use it because it has this latch feature, which kind of lets me do this kind of thing. So when I step on it, I get my octaves, and you'll hear that on uh, Mongoose Crossing. After that, I'm going into this mini wah pedal on any, you know, for any time it needs to kind of get a little funky. Let me see if I can find a pick here. So you hear that in Soup Express, almost that riff exactly. Um, after that, I'm going into the Earthquaker Devices Spatial Delivery. It's another wah type effect. Uh, it's an, an envelope filter. I used to use it a lot more. I haven't really been using it a lot recently. And I really kind of only use it for this sample and hold feature that it has, which has like a really cool ambient kind of like dripping water kind of sound. I don't really know what else to call it, but it's nice when you're trying to just kind of get kind of spacey. After that is this little guy that we'll come back to in a bit. From the envelope filter, I'm actually running around it into this custom overdrive pedal that I have. Some of you might recognize the face on there. That's Trey on a Stasio. The whole point of this pedal was kind of just to pay homage to his rig back in the day when he was running two uh, tube screamers modded by Analog Man, which I have done, and Analog Man was nice enough to put them into one box for me. Uh, Got to give another shout out to our friend from Madison, New Jersey, Matt Shaw, who did an amazing job on this artwork. It looks fantastic. From there, I'm running across to the Wampler Ego which is my compressor, and that's just on all the time. I just really like what it adds to my tone. After that, I'm going to the Phase 95, which is a nice, versatile little uh, phaser pedal, kind of a combination of the MXR Phase 90 and Phase 45. Um, I kind of use that in a few songs for this it kind of, I don't know, this oscillating organ type kind of sound. If you throw that on with the octaves, it can get pretty interesting. And then after that, I'm coming into the Source Audio Nemesis for delay. I have a couple presets, which brings me back to this little guy. I can just kind of cycle through the presets I have on board with this. Uh, the first one is a dotted eighth note delay, so we can get kind of that U2 sound going. Uh, after that, I just have a quarter note delay. This is kind of what I use most of the time. If, I'm, if I have like a lead part or something or a solo, I'll probably throw that on. Uh, after that, I have a really weird kind of, it's like a bit crusher kind of sound almost. I think it makes me sound like a doorbell. You can maybe get some weird video game kind of sounds going with that. And then lastly is, I think this is the Helix model, which is just a, another cool ambient kind of noise that it's kind of like a one trick pony that I, you can't use too often or it gets really old. But you get that kind of cool, crazy sound. Um, and then after that, the last thing I have is the Big Sky that I'm using for reverb. This thing is a monster. Um, it also supports presets, so over on the far left, I have a really low reverb. You really can't even hear it. This is good for just really short staccato kind of funky stuff. Uh, in the middle is a hall reverb that I use most of the time. Um, I just really like this one. It was one of the presets that came on board and I just saved it here. And then over on the far right, whenever I really want to get into that ambient mode again, is this, I think this is the cloud setting. And it just kind of like, it just adds so much up above what you're playing, it's great. And yeah, so that's my whole pedal board. And then after that, it's just running over into the other room into my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe which is also the only amp that I'll be recording anything on. And I think that's what I, yeah, that's what I use for the EP as well. Um, so the, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything for me. Uh, we're, we're excited to release this album, hopefully in the next month or two, and I'm so psyched to hear what people have to say about it. I'll see you guys later.